name is Kat Sapene, and I've been painting in the collectibles industry for a little over 20 years. My specialty would be painting female figures, as well as lighting effects, or just effects in general, magic, fire, things like that. I've been painting for, here at SciShow, 15 years, maybe about 25 years, can I say that? No, I've been painting for about 30 years. So I think my main specialty would be doing the portraits, the skin texturing and stuff like that, flesh. I would say my second specialty would be weathering, painting bases and whatnot. So I've been painting for approximately 21 years. My specialty is mostly monsters and creatures. <laughs> that, was, that was funny. My name is Chi E Izuma. I've been painting for 15 years. My specialty is detail work, include the airbrush and handbrush. We each have years and years of experience, decades of experience at this point, and everybody has something that they're extremely good at doing and excel at. The tools that I use are an airbrush, regular brushes, masking tape, an X-Acto knife, and of course paint. You know, we use sealers, variations between matte to gloss, toothpicks, we do use toothpicks, and Q-tips. Let's see what else. Water bottle, denatured alcohol bottle, sponges, paint rag. I started with just 10 brushes, you know, different variety of brushes and different sizes. There are hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of varieties of these. I have a couple hundred <laughs> probably hold brushes that I just have in cups and sometimes I use them and sometimes I don't. There's gonna be that one day I'm like, oh, that one brush, I threw it away. <laughs> I'll use everything in between rounds, flats, and that just means the shape of the brush. You know, you have your round assortment of brushes and they come in a variety of sizes and you have your flats and they come in a variety of sizes. My go-to brushes are liner brushes. They're like rounds, but they're a little bit longer and I use those for edge work cleaning up and for eyes. Sometimes I use fine tip markers, like black ones. I'll use that sometimes for pupils. There's a variety of tools that we use for masking. Masking tape, latex, and a silly putty. If you have a delicate layer of paint underneath, you know, maybe a metallic or something that you want to really protect, then silly putty's great. Oh, another one, paper plates. That's basically like my palette, or to wipe off or mix up a wash in there or some paints. As long as you have a brush and paints and your hands or whatever you use to paint, that's all you need. For a beginner, I would suggest that you don't get too wrapped up into getting everything that's out there. It doesn't matter how good that your airbrush is. If you don't spend the time with that tools, you won't be good at it. It's not paint by numbers. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Pick a starting point, and then from there, the rest starts to flesh itself out. Start simple, start small, good compressor, good airbrush, decent set of paints, some decent brushes, and get going. And, and that's really the best way to start. So hope you've enjoyed this video and it's somewhat inspiring for you. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment on other topics you'd like to see.